Alright, I wanted to give my bit on hardware and uh, some of this I'm going to make a series of hardware videos uh, I tried to, to cover um, the topics I wanted to cover in one video and I just couldn't do it uh, just too much to say in uh, a short amount of time and uh, some, some, of, some of my comments are going to be response um, to um, Apple's hardware reliability and the quote unquote Apple now using PC hardware I also wanted to go into some philosophies of uh, hardware and software relationships. Um, so this will be the first video and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, respond to the whole Apple hardware reliability. Uh, first off I'll say to the um, PC hardware side of, of a non, let's just say non-Apple uh, and, and we'll just throw in uh, non-Unix that in, in, in being uh, Sun uh, and then the uh, non-IBM because I have something specific to say about those guys um, but for Apple reliability I can say that over my 10 plus years of experience uh, I've worked on Macs that, that was early on in, in 95 and, and they and they had issues back then um, that of course is, has changed and, and, and they've I think at least in my opinion have improved greatly um, and Working on uh, G4s now. I don't. I don't do that. I don't. I'm not a technician for Apple for a living, obviously. But uh, and so I can't therefore vouch for what shops and you know, repair shops would would, would say in, in terms of that. Um, but from my own experience, um, uh, I've had very good very good luck with with Apple desktops and and and, and notebooks and. Um, I've also had some good luck with uh, other OEMs. Um, uh, I've had a a very old um, compact. It was early on that you couldn't kill that machine. Um, it, it it did pretty well. Um, and then you, I can go into the clone sides and and, and the clones that I've built um, have, have very very rarely I've had a hardware failure. I mean it, it does happen every now and then but um, I try to use the best hardware possible and spend the most amount of time researching it and it does cost me a heck of a lot more um, but I know a lot of these arguments about hardware reliability comes from people who are like well the hardware costs too much for Apple and I can get it for I can get my whole machine for three hundred dollars well you know what you, you also get what you pay for I mean I spent a good amount of years being a, a, a technician repairing Windows boxes and a lot of those a lot of those machines were the three hundred dollar machines and um, especially when they when everything's on the motherboard and um, I mean it's a nightmare you gotta go back to the, to the customer and say well we just gotta you gotta purchase a whole new motherboard and, this is this is how much it's going to cost you, which is almost the price of the machine. So, um, that I can say more than not, especially on the on the cheaper hardware side, that of course you're going to have hardware problems. Um, I will leave out. Uh, and I'll, I'll be honest here. I'm I'm not going to uh, include in terms of of reliability uh, because the response is specifically about hardware. Uh, in terms of, of the, the the Windows boxes that I fixed because of software issues, um, but my own gaming rig, I, I, I spent a fortune on that machine, and it's got the very best of hard uh, hardware in it, uh, and it and it shows when when XP when when it runs. Um, I mean the benchmarks are there, which um, can show some of that hardware performance being put to use. Um, but I can't really say so much, really any much more, uh, based on my experience. I can just t simply tell you that the apples that I've had are, are have been extremely reliable. So what I'm going to do is 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 include some links uh, from Consumer Reports and some other news agencies that have um, shown Apple to be at least number one or number two in in, in many categories. And then um, also I thought I would include um, technical uh, support. Um, which Apple is also getting very, very high, 
um, marks on. So I'll go ahead and include those on the at the end of this video. And of course, I'm sure you, anyone can go to anywhere and, and pull up any any uh, source. So I I tried to go to Consumer Reports and and and, and get the ones that I can. Now it's subscription based, so I'm just going to make a video. I mean, a link will do you no good unless you have a subscription. And if you do, I'll give you the link. You can simply send me a message, and I'll give you the links to the, to the ones I had. Um, or you can look it up yourself, really. Um, so I'll just supply those. Um, but really, getting back to the hardware, and oh well, I can I can put a machine together for significantly less than an Apple computer. Well, I mean, my gaming machine costs more than a Mac Pro. Uh, we'll just put it that way. Um, and other clones that I've that I've built are definitely a lot more money than some Apples. I mean, on the, on the iMac. Uh, there's been several uh, times that even an OEM would would, would outprice uh, Apple hardware. Now, I will say something about prices because that that was also getting into there. There's there's I think there's several vids out there that compare prices between uh, Macs and, and and Windows boxes. And I think um, Cost has done a video. Gareth has done a video. Uh, and a few others that have already done that. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna rehash that because you can go see their videos for that, and they've done a sufficient job in showing that argument. What I will say, uh, which I have not yet found to be stated, is is price discrimination based upon company management. If Dell so happens to um, have a surplus of hardware because of mismanagement in their inventories, what so on and so forth. Um, of course they're going to cut prices and then the price is going to be less because of a business issue not so much that it's they're able to pull it off to make it cheaper and it's equivalent hardware so on and so forth so a lot of times it is a a a business issue that gets the price lower and i'm sure that apple has maybe run into into that and i think the whole iphone issue even though that's outside of computers um lowering the price uh, is reflective of 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 similar uh, business practices where the companies run into these issues. I mean, there's there's a lot to manage in that, I and mean, you got inventories, and you have to do um, customer customer inelasticities, uh, which are this is economic jargons that I'm using here. Um, but forecasting uh, how much consumer surplus is out there that are going to uh, purchase their products. So uh, that has to really be considered, and in in a lot of times, a lot is given to to move products. Uh, after all. It, People try to try to hang on to their to their their computers as long as as they as they can, and they have to have some sort of incentive uh, to want to to get out of that. I mean, I, I, most uh, people would just like to buy a computer and would like it to work for as long as possible, and they don't want to really tinker with it, and they want to have any problems with it, and so they're um, going to try to keep the thing status quo. And so these companies have to work harder at getting you interested in getting that, and sometimes. Um, these fluctuations in prices that you that that you get, we'll we'll, we'll do that. And um, for the times that these 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 anomalies happen, I'm not going to say anomalies, but when these business practices happen, uh, all the better. Okay, so you're able to get a, a machine for cheaper. Um, but again, like I said, I be forewarned. You you do get what you pay for, and I think Apple uses quality products. Um, and uh, there are OEM vendors that use quality products, uh, but I know that more than not, especially those that are that are technicians know, um, especially like like warranty repairs and s scenarios where a lesser grade hardware, even though it's the same spec, but it's a different manufacturer, will be used to save a buck or two. So, um, uh, I'll, I will leave that at that and I'll put up the uh, source vids. Thanks for watching.